Hey, can I reserve the bench tonight at seven? Yeah, I know I was just benching, but I just perfected this quick recovery drink. I'm feeling a PR. Awesome, thanks mom. Yeah, I love you too. Welcome to the video just making my bed that I actually only ever make when I make YouTube videos But uh, today I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do on a rest day from work and from training So a lot of you guys have asked me do you have any advice on rest days? And I thought there'd be no better way to show you guys than to show you guys exactly what I do So a rest day is very important if not more important than your training day because this is where the benefits of your exercise take place where you grow where you recover where you fuel your body for the upcoming weeks of workouts so today i just let myself sleep in and now we're gonna get the day started although it's a rest day from the weights it's never a rest day from caffeine so if you are new to the channel you'll soon find out that i am addicted to coffee i'd say it's a problem that i'm working on but in reality i'm not so just like blood's in you to give caffeine's in me to live but i do not have pre-workout on days like this unless there are a few extra peaches that are getting too ripe there we go so first thing is first nobody knows your body like you do so when you wake up in the morning it's important to assess how you feel what does your body need to recover maybe you feel tired you need more sleep maybe you need more food today or maybe you're very very sore and you need some active recovery it could be a combination of all three of those things so again listen to your body it's telling you a lot of things and it's very good at it Contrary to popular belief, a rest day is not about being one with your couch. You can do some forms of moderate intensity cardio as a form of active recovery. It's not supposed to be difficult, although some forms of it do require things to be a little bit hard, but you know, usually just at a moderate intensity and there's a number of good benefits to it, like uh, reduces lactic acid buildup, increases blood flow, it makes the muscles just a little bit more flexible, but most importantly, it's a nice break from intense training. You know, it's, it's nice to kind of go out and do something that you enjoy that's just very like relaxed and it's a good time to socialize, go for a hike with your girlfriend, go for a bike ride, with your family. So I'm gonna go out right now and do something I used to do as a kid all the time for the next 30 to 60 minutes. It does not get much more Canadian than this, doesn't it? So there's my cousin, Christian Tennyson. And I haven't been, yeah, so I've been on the ice in five years. So he was just saying that he might be my stunt double if I look really, really bad. So you guys can think that I'm good on camera. I barely even know how to tie my skates right now. Like these are like not squat shoes, which is like so strange. All right, let's see what happens. Let's just hope I don't fall into the, the lake. Like, the soap just doesn't crack. That be, it'd be a good thumbnail, though. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I see some bar. Bar of second shot. Just been playing around for like 20 minutes and this is some like insane cardio just passing the puck around so i was number 37 back in the day so then i asked him what was your number and look what he shows me 69 he's actually number 69 so yo you're so on brand with the tennyson brand like it's just in your blood of course yeah <laughs> Skating counts your steps. It does. Did you count your steps? There you go, right on. Right on. Oh. It's, it's like kind of iffy though. Like you work way harder, yeah. and when you look at your steps after, it's like you dump only like 2,500 an hour. It's not the sport for me then. <laughs> oh. But if you look at your Apple Watch, like at a practice, when I used to wear my uh, Fitbit, yeah. at a two hour practice, I'd burn 700 calories. Oh shit. Yeah. Like it was good. It's a good workout.
Okay, so hockey is a wrap. Burnt a ton of calories. This said we got 3,400 steps. 3,400 steps in a little over half an hour. Uh, you know, doing things like this, like it actually made me a little bit emotional. I miss this so much and it put me in a good mood. And you know, when you're in a good mood, you tend to eat better, you tend to be more productive. It spills over into every other aspect of your life. So, you know, if you have a day off, do some stuff that makes you happy and it's, it's really, really worth it. So I'm gonna go now and get the first meal of the day. We're at a place right now called Revita Size. So they do like acai bowls, maca bowls, uh, avocado toast, salads, uh, fresh pressed uh, juices and stuff like that. So, you know, it's an off day from your training, but it's never an off day from your diet. Your diet should always be on point. Your diet should actually never change. So other than feeding like, you know, a couple of chemical dependencies or two, it should always be whole foods. Don't drop your calories. Don't slash your carbs to nothing because you need to fuel up today for the future workouts. If you like cut your calories so low and your carbs super low, when you work out tomorrow, you know, you're not gonna be able to do anything. This drink is not made for me. Coffee, cashew, milk, milk nut with a Y, as in why not have my second milk nut of the day. I am being gaslit or I'm going crazy because this is apparently 330 calories and I, I can't believe it. It's like almost as big of a lie as Ollie claiming Natty all these years. So I got the maca bowl with almond butter. So I'm not just a peanut butter lover, I'm an all butter lover. Got some puff quinoa, some granola, cacao nibs, and then a sliced banana. So it's a, an off day for more than just the gym. And uh, what was that? Eat me, Will. Devour me, big boy. All right, let's do it. Oh my God. So, so good. Let's try this uh, coffee cashew. It tastes like an $11 nut, and I've tasted a lot of $11 nuts, I'll tell you that. So alongside the bowl, I have a big thing of water here. So hydration is very important on a rest day, even on a non-rest day. Um, it lubes uh, your joints, your muscles, and it helps prevent muscle soreness and cramps. So always stay hydrated and it very much so helps your performance. So don't skip on the water. So I know earlier I said that you don't want your nutrition to change much on a rest day, but at the same time, your activity will just be naturally lower. So, you know, you might not be as hungry just naturally. So if that's the case, don't force it. But if you're actually hungry, then eat. So just again, don't feel like because it's a rest day, you gotta taper back the calories. Again, listen to your body. Nobody knows it as well as you. One of the best things that you can do on a rest day is some yoga or some mobility work. You don't need a lot of time around 10 to 15 minutes, but it has a lot of benefits. It uh, improves your body awareness. It makes you a little bit more flexible and it strengthens the muscle while also simultaneously loosening the muscle. So this is more for the younger viewers out there. Do not skip this stuff. It's super, super important. It's all great to you know, lift really heavy and get it all really strong. But if you can't utilize your body outside of the gym, what's the point, right? And it also keeps you at the end of the day, most importantly, injury free. The first thing we are gonna do is a little bit of a hip matrix. So it's gonna be three different hip movements in one. So the first one we're gonna do is just a standard, you know, one knee up and you're gonna come forward utilizing your hip and back here. And then while you're coming forward, you wanna flex the glute. You don't wanna arch the back, so keeping it straight and back. The next one we're gonna do is the leg that's down. This arm's gonna come up. You're gonna come grab it with your elbow, forward, Bends. You're gonna feel a massive stretch in your lats as well as your hips, and then back. Forward, twist, back. And then the third one, you're gonna to have to take the leg 45 degree angle. You're then gonna twist, arms up, forward, back. Come back and reset. Twist, up, forward, back. So we're gonna do all three of those. You're gonna do five of one, five to 10 of one, then switch to five to 10 the next one, five to 10 of the third one, and then your switch legs. And yeah, depending on how loose you are, you wanna go towards the higher end, like 10 reps, not that loose, five reps. So the next thing we're gonna do is called a quadruped cat to cow. So quadruped just means just on your hands and knees. And so the cat is gonna be this. So you're gonna come, back's gonna come round, chin's gonna come in, and then you're going to the cow, Backs and around, chin up, just like that. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna still stay in the quadruped position, but now we're gonna add a thoracic rotation. So again, on uh, hands and knees, you're gonna wanna sit back a bit, so it's a little bit easier on your lower back. You're gonna put one hand behind your head, and now we're gonna go from elbow to our opposite hand. Down, and then you're gonna come twist all the way up. You should notice a big stretch in the upper back. Hold it three to five seconds and then repeat, 10 reps per side. Mm -hmm. 
Last thing we are gonna do is called the side lying windmill, around 10 reps per side. Very good for your shoulder mobility, which I'm lacking tremendously, and just good for your back, your lats and everything. So you're gonna need a foam roller if you don't have one, just something to kind of have your leg raised up, and then just use your mat as kind of like a little bit of a pillow. So we're gonna lie on our side. Top leg's gonna come up onto the uh, foam roller here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come all the way up, like a windmill, and as you're coming, you're slowly gonna rotate, my shoulders are so tight and there we go all the way and then slowly we're gonna come all the way back you know it's a big stretch right around right here and then reset and then 10 times per side That took me literally 12 minutes. So not a lot of time, but you know, it gives you longevity in the gym and longevity, you know, out of the gym and it makes you a better athlete. So I highly recommend, don't skip on this stuff. I'll put it all in the description. Give it a shot. Back at my house right now, a lot of you guys ask me, why do I always come back when I have my own condo? It's because I love being here and I love my family and hopefully they feel the same way. So I have been on a vegan kick lately. Why? I know not, but for lunch today, we're gonna make a white bean artichoke basil flatbread. It doesn't have to be white bean, it could be black bean, it could be red bean. You know, I don't discriminate. You know, I love tasting the rainbow. So very simple to make around 10 minutes. I'll show you guys how to make it right now. go so it's a delicious white bean artichoke flatbread super macro friendly it smells delicious which is why my mom's kind of like hovering as I was cooking it you want to try these yeah I was also just saying before I started cooking that I come back home all the time even though I have my own condo because I love being here and I think that you guys like do you feel the same way we do yeah mm. it's vegan well I don't really care about that that okay, so I'm probably gonna fire up another flatbread since she's pretty much eating half of my thing. And on the side, I have some sparkling water with some tart cherry juice. So I actually get DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness and muscle cramps very, very easily. And by adding this into my routine, it's actually reduced greatly. It's a very good anti-inflammatory. And I know I say to not drink your calories, but I literally put like two ounces into the cup. It's around 40 calories and it's not much, but I've noticed it's actually gone a long way. So if you cramp a lot, you get sore a lot, recommend checking it out. On my off days, I like to focus on my other passions, that being video, editing, uh, getting better with my hands and cooking. So I'm currently doing an online course right now with Skillshare, which just happens to be today's video sponsor. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different courses to learn new skills. So the course I am doing right now is called Visual Storytelling with Final Cut Pro X. And a lot of you guys ask me, you know, well, I want to start YouTube. I want to, I want to get good at editing. What should I do? And I think this is the place to go. So the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only $10 a month. So if you're not into video, if you're not into editing, that's totally fine. They have courses on business, finance, self-improvement, pretty much everything. So again, check out the link in the description, sign up today. You won't be disappointed. Gonna be messing around with some cauliflower again in my apron. Again, I just love being naked. I don't know what it is. So along with video editing, I will come into the kitchen one time per week and I'll just practice. So cooking is like my happy place. It's my absolute passion. Before I started YouTube, I wanted to be a chef, own my own restaurant. I still wanna do those things. So again, I'll come into the kitchen and you know, I have some ideas in my head and you know, I'll try, to, I'll try them. And sometimes it makes me wanna throw up. Sometimes they'll be so good that they're gonna be in my future cookbook and sometimes they are gonna be for a future video. So right now I had an idea for a video next week with some cauliflower and yeah, so be on the lookout for that. So I messed up, it is what it is. So I'm trying to make cauliflower tortillas to make a, a little bit of a taco for another video. And it's just a little bit like crumbly. The ratios are just a little bit off, but you know what? The flavor is there, but you know what? I'm not upset. This is what it's all about. You mess up and then you just keep on learning. So I will get a recipe for this. It will be in a future video. Trust me, again, be on the lookout for it. Got another coffee, and I'm gonna make a little bit of a snack right now before I just go and relax. So I'm gonna be making a Greek yogurt cookie dough. It's nothing like actual cookie dough, it's like when people call tofu steak. It's not, it's not the real thing, but for me it satisfies that peanut butter and chocolate craving. So we're gonna start off with 
one cup of Greek yogurt, which is 233 grams, two tablespoons of peanut flour, one tablespoon of Walden Farms, and that is the base. And then like I always say to myself when I'm in the bedroom, I'm a little bit scared, when in doubt, whip chocolate out. So we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of chocolate chips. Mmm. So now I'm gonna go and just watch some Netflix and do absolutely nothing. Quickly forgot to mention that joining me with my snack will be four rice cakes, 50 calories each, so 200 calories. Eat, sleep, work, repeat. That has become our life now. We live in a culture that prioritizes productivity over mental health, which oftentimes leads us to overwork ourselves without prioritizing our mental health the way that we should. Sometimes the most productive thing that we can do is actually just to, you know what? relax it recharges your body it recharges your mind it recharges your soul it can rekindle your interest in your work if you ever feel the lack of motivation to go to the gym you know take a few days off it might re-spark that interest it can improve your performance in a bunch of different aspects of your life making you work more effectively and efficiently but most importantly simply relaxing can save your health are on our way to get some Caribbean food. We even got some island music on with some little bit of steel drum, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to a place called Anil's, very highly rated and actually very reasonable. I've not paid this little of this thing jerked in my entire life. Uh, but I've never had authentic Caribbean food before, so I got the just straight up jerk chicken. And on the menu, it was like, yo, be careful, this is some island spices. Don't go too hot and just like a Area 51 trespassing sign. I don't see that as a warning. I see that as a challenge. So I got the hottest thing on the menu and we'll see what happens. There's no way you're gonna be able to finish that. Look at it. I can finish that. There's no way you're gonna be able to finish that. Right? I would say good food is like the foundation of genuine happiness. Or is that just me? Would you agree? Hmm, part of it. Oh, my butt is just quivering smelling that. Smell that. It's hot. Mm-hmm, it hit Well, that rice is hot. That's spicy, bro. Really? Really, really? bro? Ooh. Is it like all in it? There is so much going on in the back of my throat right now. That is some flavorful meat. Mine is very oh. tender. When travel is a thing again, I can't wait to go to every island and taste the meat. Be gentle. Okay. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Mine's way better. Yeah. So she got the curry, I got the jerk. That was spicy, bro. That was like not for your average user. Um, my sinuses are cleared and my cheeks are sweating. Aww. All four of them. Uh, so what do you think out of 10? I'd say a solid 7.5. 7.5? Yeah. I'm gonna go with like an eight and a half. And I'm the only, the only reason I'm going eight and a half is because I wish they had some white meat. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a breast man, not a leg man. Really? Yeah. I love yeah. the leg. Yeah, if, I highly recommend checking it out. Super good. Wrapping up the night, watching some TV, having some snacks right now. So since Katie got the new car, it's like a, a self-proclaimed cheat day. So she hammered that roti. She has this whole bag of Reese's here and then a whole pint of ice cream. It's kind of scary how much you can eat, but you know, I like a girl that scares me. It's, it's pretty hot. Can I have a bite of that? All I can taste is a meal. I gotta rinse them out of my mouth. But that was my rest day. It was a good day. Playing hockey like hit me in the nostalgia bone hard. So we all need a day like this every now and then. You know, a day where no problems are confronted, no solutions are searched for. A lot of people see a rest day as just, you know, physical self-care. They don't see the uh, intellectual self-care, the emotional self-care, and the spiritual self-care. Health is, you know, a complete state of uh, physical, but also social and mental well-being. So if you just focus on the physical, you're not really gonna get that far. So you have one body, take care of it, invest in yourself and make you a priority in your life. So that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.